Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode of Cool and Cheap Music Gear, we're replacing all of our bulky cables that power your gear with this. This is the Ripcord by MyVolts. And what's cool about this device is that you can power all your gear with USB. That can be a wall outlet USB, or it can be like one of these portable power bricks that you usually use to charge your phone. Really cool piece of technology. I get it, power stuff might not be that exciting, but this is a really cool product for four reasons. One, you can bring your instruments and play them wherever there is no power. So that can be used for just playing outside, busking, anything like that. Or I know I've played on stages where there's like three outlets on the whole stage. So now you don't even have to worry about that with this. I love that this is cable management. This is way easier to manage than those big bulky cables. It can also help with grounding issues if you're getting a ground buzz. And it's also just good to have as a backup or a replacement cable. So like I said, you can use this with just a standard USB power brick. You can also use it with one of these portable USB power banks, which is what I'm going to be mostly using to demo this with. First of all, the devices I've used this with, the HX Stomp is a great device to use this with because a lot of people complained about how bulky the power supply is. Never really bothered me, but this is definitely a smaller solution. I've also used it to power my Roland SPDSX, my Roland FA06 keyboard synth, multiple sure wireless units, and a few other things. So first of all, this is great for portability. So say you have a battery powered speaker, now you have a way to bring your other music gear to places where there is no power. And like I mentioned before, if, there's, if you're playing on a stage where the power situation sucks, you have a new solution. So another reason why I like these is for cable management. These sure power adapters, it just clutters up so much room on my pedal board or in the back of my rack where I have to Velcro them down. This is just so much cleaner it's definitely worth it for me. So stuff with power replacement can be a little scary, even for me, I'll admit. The thing that I like about MyVolts is that their website has so many pieces of music gear on their website, so they make sure that you get the correct one. And if you're unsure, you can always email them. They've been really quick with responding anytime that I've had a question. But you can see they have countless stuff on here. However, you don't necessarily need that. All right, so this is the Roland one. So this is powers both my keyboard and also my SPDSX. So if you look, See where it says output? It says nine volts at two amps. And see the symbols where it says positive and then a C looking shape and then the negative sign. So that means center negative. So on the my volts, so on the my volts one, they actually give you that right here. In big letters, nine volts, and then positive C and the negative symbol, center negative. This would be the unit that you would need. And I'll get to the amps in a second. For the sure one right here, you can see that this one says 12 volts on the output, only 400 milliamps. And down here at the bottom, it has the negative and then the C and then a positive, so center positive. So this is the my volts that I use for that. You can see it says 12 volts in big letters at the top. And you can see that the polarity on both of them is the exact same, center positive. Okay, so for the amps, each device is gonna output a different amount. This little guy right here, which you'll see with like most Apple devices that ships with one of these, probably will not be able to see this. I highly doubt it's going to pick this up. So you'll just have to trust me. It says that this sends out one amp. So this will actually work for my Sure device that required 400 milliamps. This one will work. So now with each of these, these are more powerful ones. So if you can see, see where it says output 5 volts and 2.4 amps? You don't have to worry about the 5 volts thing because that's part of the thing that the rip core does. It converts 5 volts, which is, again, I'm probably getting my terminology exact wrong with this, but it converts the 5, the five volts from a USB into the 9 volts needed, 9 volts or 12 volts or however many you need. A device like this has four ports. And if you look on here where it says, it says 5 volts, and again, it says 2.4 amps each port. So that's something to keep in mind. You can actually power four different devices with this brick. This one can send up to three amps, which is also something beneficial about this. So you always have to check those. And now's as good a time as any to say, I am not an electrician. Do your research. This is, this is your warning. Do not just 100% trust me on this. Do your research on your own products. All right, something else to keep in mind is the, di the different tips. So this one, for example, just the regular nine volt does not fit. I cannot, I mean, I'm not gonna force it, but it does not fit here. So I had to get a little tip adapter. You have to figure out how to plug it in just like a USB. And now it fits fine. 
they do have a pack that has multiple different tips. So just keep that in mind. Again, if you have questions, just send them a message. They've always been great with responding to all my questions. So that's basically it. Again, I know a power cable is not exactly the most exciting thing in the world. But again, just to have this as a backup, if you lose a power supply, you can't obviously use your gear. So just to have these as a backup is amazing. So I have a lot of these in my bag. Well, this thing is just a really cool piece of gear and it's not very much money. It's like 15 to $20. There's links in the description down below. I do want to sh give a shout out to my friend Matt from The Distance for showing me these. I spoke highly of them. So thanks, Matt. Um, and thank you again to my volts. Again, this is not a paid or sponsored video, just a really cool product that I like. So I hope that helped you guys out, gave you some useful information. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.